Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll be discussing about wound dressings. Wound dressings form an essential part of management of wounds. And as Joseph Lister said once, skin is the best dressing. Now, what is an intention therefore when we are trying to make a wound heal? The intention is to dress it until such time that it is ready to take up a skin cover in the form of a skin graft or a skin flap. Now, wound dressings have been in use for centuries and for generations with various kinds of innovative interventions and the newer developments that we have now encountered in the 20th and 21st century that we are going to see. Now, therefore, what we are going to address are issues pertaining to what was being done in the past and what is being done in the present and what will happen hopefully in the future when we can actually get a skin for a substitute completely. Now, uh, it is well said that uh, only skin can heal skin and skin will heal if given the chance. So, all you need to do is ensure that skin is able to be able to heal itself and we are able to provide it the cover. Now, is dressing really necessary? This is a very common, a very important question which we must address before we talk about whether dressing is, I mean which kind of a dressing is to be used in a particular scenario. Now, this um, uh, cartoon actually depicts the need for uh, the dressing. As you can see on the in, in the first uh, uh, film or the first shot that the, there are epithelial cells which are trying to fill up the defect that is visible and in their attempt to fill up this defect they are comfortably covered and they are comfortably aided by a cover in the form of a dressing which is in the film one or the, or the, or the cartoon first cartoon that you are seeing. And in the second one as you see it is exposed to the air.